Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I made it to Riften, and I've made contact with the Thieves Guild. They've given me an assignment to do to shake down some of these shop owners, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I feel the need to get in tight with this guild. They may be able to help me find out who left me for dead. Doesn't appear to be the guild. Must be some other organization or some other enemy that I can't remember. But what I do remember now is that I'm a Breton. But not any ordinary Breton. I'm mixed with Red Guard. I remember my father is a Red Guard warrior. And my mother is a Breton mage. I was raised as a Breton though. Okay, here's the first target, and I need some information. How did you meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Hmm. I have them right here. But it's gonna cost you. I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. You might want to talk some sense into Kirava, though. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Fortunately for you, I'm under orders not to kill anyone. But I thought softening you up with those, uh, whatever those flawless things were, <laughs> that might loosen your tongue. Thank you. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Are you ready to pay Brynjolf what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up, and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here. Take this back to Brynjolf, and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. That's good to hear. Now, did I see something now, about... did you want? I already paid you. Yeah, well, I'm looking for work, too. Have you got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Thank you. What's the word around town? Riften's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. Is there any other word around town? 
Sibby Blackbriar is furious that his ex-lover tried to murder him. He's leaving no stone unturned searching for her. Anything else? If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. Hmm, that would be unfortunate. What else? The Thieves Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. And what else do you know, Barkeep? Crime is an all-time high in this city thanks to the Thieves Guild. Don't we have enough problems with the war going on? I appreciate your time. You see, I'm one of those personal collectors. I like to talk, get to know some of the people that live here in this town. I can't stand this city. It's impossible to make a decent living here. You look like you could use Do a your best. What do you say to some cheap mead? Good luck with your uh, your marriage proposal. Your My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Yes, well, unfortunately for you, I have no interest. So, you people are just going to stand around and stare? So, can I interest you in anything today? I was wondering if you were going to be hospitable. I have a message from Brynjolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk, and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. We can protect ourselves. Trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you just have to make do without my coin. Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! Oh my word. Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! This isn't happening. It is happening, miss. And your urn is destroyed. No. Was priceless. Do you want me to break anything else? All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. You too, miss. Can I help you? Hmm. Helga, is it? Please, don't hurt me. Hmm. If I was here to hurt you, you'd already be dead. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Hmm. Who are these people? Are Please you all enjoying stop. your meal? I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. Tidings. Trees. They're beautiful here. Reminds me of autumn at home. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. I really need your Tidings. help. I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? Like, you're going to ask me? All right, I'm curious. You have no idea what it's like to have everything. Then watch it all disappear. You might... Oh, oh I know absolutely, ma'am. Really? You're going to bring that up with me? I've lost everything, even my memories. What am I going to do? And because of your impertinence, I'm not going to help you. <clears throat> hmm.
All right, this is the statue that he briefed me about. What the? <laughs> Your secret lover. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. So, should I drop this statue down a well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Oh, and have a nice day, and... Whoever your secret lover is, it sounds like he's a lucky man. All so right, Brynjolf. done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Well, Dumping you gave me orders. Keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Hmm. What's next, then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, then I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood, the telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I have to ask... What's on your mind? Word is, your outfit isn't doing well. Is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Hmm. Secret passage. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brindal. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> Rules. We're thieves. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? Actually, I'm asking things in turn. I don't know who you think you are. But yes, for now, I understand. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Bex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. The Golden Glow estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer. Aren't you forgetting something? Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. 
Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the Fan mm. Lab. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Huh. So, I'm a member of the Thieves Guild. Thank you. So, how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. All right, well, tell me about this Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. You know, I'm really conflicted about you guys and your rules. I mean, who cares? We're the Thieves' Guild, for crying out loud. That's not how things work around here. The Guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, Kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay, so I'm not supposed to kill, yet you're telling me that I can. You know what? I'm not sure I can go through with being a part of this guild. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us a cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Hmm. Thanks for the info. So, I'm a now a member of the Thieves' Guild. Let's see if there's anything I can cook. Since, uh... Healing potions seem to be uh, very scarce around here. I might have to rely on food.
Hey, let's talk a second. Huh? What? We just talked. What now? Oh, What's Viper. Up? Who are you? You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. Hmm. How did you earn your name? It was on a job a few years back. It was supposed to be a simple burglary on a house in Windhelm. I was working with Vex, and we got inside with no trouble. We found the loot and made our way out. Sounds normal to me. Well, it was. Up until the point where we set foot outside. The house was surrounded by town guard. The client had ratted us out. Vex just tells me to run. So I did. Half of them went after me, the other half went after her. Did either of you get caught? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Vex lost them in seconds. Once she steps into the shadows, she vanishes. Me? I ran. And I ran. Straight through the gates of Windhelm, and all the way back to Riften. That's an incredible distance to run. Vex was waiting for me at the flagon when I came in, drenched in sweat. Everyone just took a look at me and laughed. Why were they laughing? Well, I'd forgotten we had our horses tied up just outside of Windhelm. <laughs> Vex rode hers back and arrived hours before <laughs> I did. So, that's how I earned the name. <laughs> now keep it to yourself. Yeah, that's a good story. What do you know about the Golden Glow Estate? I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives with a weapon. Set them on fire, and they'll go up like kindling. Does the guild provide other services? I'll point you to the first and last person you're ever going to need to talk to. Tonelia. She's the guild's fence. Treat her right, and she'll make you rich. Try and rip her off. You'll have the whole guild to answer to. So, can you train me to be a better pickpocket? Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. Yeah, I don't know how much, uh, don't have much gold, but whatever you can do. Looks like it. Any more pickpocket training? You just let me know. Come here a second. Oh boy, here we go. What's on your mind? <laughs> Nothing really. I was going to talk to some of the other people and try to get to know them better. What's on your mind? A lot of people are beginning to get impressed Ooh, archery. with archery, me included. Just wanted to let you know. How did you end up at the Guild? I used to live in Valenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise mm. you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Why would you leave all that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. Hmm. Like being a thief? I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. How did you end up in Skyrim? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. That must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Know anything about the Golden Glow Estate? 
The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. Does the guild provide other services? If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend Vipper. the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. All right. Well, I see that you can train in archery, if but you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Kind of broke right now. Okay, Alchemy Lab. doesn't really help that much, but we'll try it. Get a few potions there. if I try all three of these nothing No, you're not talking to me. I'm busy. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. All right, I'm no. finished. Who the hell is this bothering me? You want to talk to me? Okay. All right. What tough. do you want? So you're part of the ba of a bandit clan? I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans, but it was always about the killing for them. But not for you. Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek. You ordered us to kill the rest. You'd never had to do that before. No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Hmm. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. And Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Sounds like you enjoyed putting his head on a pike. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Is this the training room? Yes, it looks like it. One of the things, whatever happened to me, I retained all of my pickpocketing or lockpicking skills. I'm a master lockpick. There's no pick, no lock that I can't pick. Hmm. 
I don't know, maybe I can melt this pot down or something. Mmm, boar meat. It's been a while since I've had roasted boar. Oh, thieves guild boots. With some sort of enchantment on them. Guild armor. And a Thieves Guild hood. gloves. stock up for whatever this golden glow mission is that I'm getting myself involved in. seem to be doing much and I'm not going to stand here all day. Just can't help myself. This addiction to thievery and pickpocketing. <laughs> Even in the Thieves' Guild. you were gonna tell me that you saw me stealing. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Hmm. What have you got for sale? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, man, I can't sell anything but food. Can you share anything about the Thieves' Guild? I don't know about the others. But I sure am glad to see a fresh face down here. The flagon used to be packed every night with the boys from the guild. But now look at it. Last few years have been pretty bad. 
I've almost closed this place up. Anything you need done around here? Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature. Looking for some particular books. What kind of books are they? I'm told they're the ravings of a madman. A wizard named Arundel. And his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes and very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I'd uh, split with you. Arundil. Isn't that the person at Golden Glow? I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundil moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his, uh, oh, I guess it's not Arundel, then. Somebody else. How can you be certain the journals exist? Recently, a woman was found, naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments, and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Do you know anything about Arundel? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild, he was never heard from again. <laughs> I name just sounds so familiar. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. So you're bringing and two, new protege, you follow eh? my lead and do exactly Don't look like as I much say. To me. No questions, no excuses. Hey, take it easy. For now, I'm on your side. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you going to work to earn your keep? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. If it was, every drag in the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? I'll keep that in mind. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Is this unusual gem worth anything? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You're sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. <laughs> okay, so I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. A lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, 
There's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. How will doing extra jobs help the guild? Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. What were the glory days like? The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. Hmm. Does the guild provide other services? If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tenelia is the best fence around. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. I'm just trying to get to know everybody and get all the information I can so that I'm better prepared. So, feeling loose? Where is Delvin? All eyes are on you, Lantis. Don't disappoint He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Hmm. I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'll be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. I think I already did when I came down here the first time. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. A curse? What can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. What's the matter? Afraid of getting your hands dirty? I've got enough on my All plate already. Got jobs available. Interested? What do you know about the Golden Glow Estate? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goff Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. Could I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint us. Got lots of jobs available. Interested? Not All at the moment. Let me talk to this Don't fence over here. Us. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. And why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again, for a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. 
Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Okay. What will you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Ooh, she sells potions too. But nothing I need. I'm not sure if I should sell to her. I should probably go up side, top side, and get better prices. She's talking about taking a cut of everything. Yeah. Does the guild provide other services? Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Until next time. Yes, thank you for your time. All eyes are on you, lad. Yes, Don't I know. Us. But you guys weren't looking that closely because I've stolen quite a bit already. Like Delvin has a thing for Vex. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna head back topside. I'm gonna find some merchants, sell off my stuff, and then we will plan our next uh, mission here. <laughs>